In other news, the Justice Minister has reopened the inquiry into the deaths of apartheid-era activists, the Craddock Four. Matthew Guniwe, Sparrow Mkonto of Ford Kalata and Ella Mhladi are named as such as they were all from the town of Craddock in the Eastern Cape. They were murdered after being stopped and arrested in a roadblock set up by security police in 1985. Days later, their badly burned bodies with stab wounds were discovered in two different places. Fast forward to 1999, the TRC des denied amnesty for six security officers who were involved in the murders. Former Flak Plus commander Eugene de Kock, who knew about the murders, was the only one granted amnesty. For decades, the families of the four have called for investigations to reopen, saying they still want the truth and justice. We're now joined by spokesperson for Justice and Correctional Services, uh, Crispin Piri. Mr. Piri, thank you. The, the minister is saying that the main reason is that this is in the interests of justice. Tell us more. Indeed, um, the minister having been persuaded by the NPA that there is further evidence that was led at the TRC Commission, as you had outlined, but also at other inquests, having reviewed all of that in evidence that was led there. The NPA believes that um, this evidence constitutes evidence that wasn't presented in a court of law, and that should be tested by a court of law. And with that having been reviewed, and the minister has persuaded that indeed a, a judge of the High Court must be approached, and he's approached the judge president of the Eastern Cape to appoint a judge to uh, really unravel this, the truth behind this matter through an inquest. So, reportedly, the new evidence uh, consists of the amnesty applications of security police officers heard during the TRC. Is that correct? That's correct, amongst others. So we